Yasmin, hi! You must be our DHL competition winner. I'm Laura Windsor, one of the F1 TV presenters. How are you? I'm great. It's so nice to meet you. You must be very excited so to excited. be in the paddock. Is this your first time in an F1 paddock? Very first Have you time. seen who's over here as well? Look, just look that way. That is Max Verstappen. Two-time world champion. Not a bad first driver to get a glimpse of, is it? Should we have a wander down and you can have a, a bit of a look about? Tell me then, how did you get involved in the competition? What made you want to enter it in the first place? Well, my dream is to be a form presenter, a commentator. So when I saw it advertised, I follow DHL and F1 on social media. I saw it advertised and I just went, I have to apply. Even if I have the slightest chance to get here, I just have to do it. Amazing. So, yeah. Okay, and what did it involve then? It was commentating over a fastest lap, is that right? Yeah. yeah. So it was two fastest laps. Uh, the first one was a sector of Max Verstappen's fastest lap in Spa. And then the second time was uh, George Russell in Brazil. Nice. So, yeah. uh, they're great. They're really, really fun. Alex is incredible as a commentator. Um, and they're just super relaxed, super lovely guys. And just share your passion of the sport, that's all it is, it's just talking. So be you, have fun, enjoy it. That's uh, the best advice I can give. We've had a change in the commentary box and a very exciting change in the commentary box because I'm delighted to welcome Yasmin, who is our winner this year of the DHL commentator competition. And, and this is the reward. Welcome to the testing commentary box. Wonderful to have you in the comm box. Thank you so much. Um, this is amazing. This is a dream of mine, so to be with all you. And thank you so much, yeah. <laughs> Your commentary debut. Uh, and uh, let's, let's hear you on the mic. So, Sonoda, got green in both sectors. Pretty good so far. Um, Yuki's kind of been lacking this year, well, last year. Um, I think he really does need to step up his game if he wants to keep his seat. Um, I actually saw him in the pit with Helmut Marco didn't seem to be having a nice conversation, I'll be I'll be honest. It's such yeah. a Perez. Yeah, Perez has been about two seconds off the pace from Max. Yeah, Max has been uh, just completely comfortable and I think Perez is probably feeling that pressure a wee bit. Um, again, you have Daniel Ricciardo um, basically in the wings, constantly putting that pressure on Perez. We, you expect the likes of the Mercedes and uh, the Ferraris to be doing quite well, but you, because of the cost gap, I think that you're actually seeing the smaller teams really work their way up. Like if you told me that Aston Martin would be doing this well, I would have laughed at your face. <laughs> so. <laughs> Excellent to have you in the commentary box. Congratulations on winning, and I hope you love your time here in Bahrain as part of the prize. Thank you so much. Thank you. I can't believe I just did that. Um, as someone who grew up watching Formula One and trying to imitate the commentators to actually sit in the booth and do it myself. It, it doesn't feel real. <laughs> I would definitely recommend the DHL Commentator Challenge because it's given me this. It's given me this opportunity and this confidence. It's given me that chance to really walk about and get tips from other people who do the job I want to do.